Musa, good morning to you. Good morning, Ayere, and good morning, Victor. Well, here's the news. Muhammad Idris Dabi has been sworn in as the new democratically elected president of Chad Republic, promising that the return to constitutional normalcy will open the way to a better return for, a better future, rather, for the country. Uh, president Bola Tinubu was among several African leaders who attended the inauguration of the Chadian president. The federal government has restated the commitment of the Tinubu administration to revamping the nation's tax system without overburdening Nigerians. Vice President Kashim Shatima stated this when he received a delegation from the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria at the presidential villa. We are looking at how the vice president can use his good offices to relate with various state governors and now the issue of non-state actors can be covered because this is not allowing Nigeria to collect what it ought to collect. So once we remove the uh, activities of the non-state actors, Nigeria will be doing well. Life will get better for Nigerians under the leadership of President Bola Ahmed Tedebo. Words of encouragement and assurance from the Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohammed Idris, as ministerial press briefing commences ahead of the one year anniversary of the current administration. We have already started laying the solid and enduring foundation over the last 12 months. Landmark initiatives like the Consumer Credit Corporation, the Nigerian Education Loan Fund, Presidential initiative on compressed natural gas, the 200 billion naira presidential grant and loan scheme, our agriculture and food security efforts, including the launch of a dry season farming and massive fertilizer distribution, the Renewed Hope Infrastructure Development Fund. The Senate and the House of Representatives have passed the bill seeking to revert to the old national anthem with the lyrics, Nigeria, we held it. At the Red Chamber, Senators passed for a second reading the bill with Senator and uh, Senate Leader uh, Senator Opeyemi Bamidili uh, noting that the old anthem inspires a sense of patriotism in Nigerians. While in the Green Chamber, the bill sponsored by House Majority Leader passed first, second and third reading on the floor of the House at, the, at Thursday's plenary. Patriotic reflections on our aspirations. Tackling the rot, decay, dislocation, and distortions of the past, we should go back to our old national anthem. And in Kano states, the House of Assembly has repealed all the laws that establish the five Emirate Councils uh, currently in existence in the state. This came to light during Thursday's plenary session. It's necessary, sir, to restore, preserve, and protect the Kano Emirate system as it historically existed and was traditionally recognized with a continual peace, order, stability, and the good governance of Kano State. Still in Kano, history made as the Parliament of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, elects the first female speaker in the annals of the regional legislative arm. Uh, the second extraordinary session of the sixth legislature in Kanu, the new speaker, Mimunatu Ibrahima from Togo, calls for one regional entity that will speak with one voice. Your passion, your dedication, your commitment to the realization of the objectives of Parliament will enable us to make ECOWAS an ECOWAS of peoples where peace, security, and prosperity for all reign. Well, those are the highlights of the news at this time. Good Morning Nigeria continues with Victor and Harry after the commercial break. Please don't go away. <laughs>